Hey guys, you're watching DShack Tech, and today we're going to be talking about my retro lineup of iPods. Let's get started. So first off, we have the very first iPod Nano. It's about 2 gigabytes, so it holds about 500 songs. This was really my first iPod, so it really kickstarted my want for an, for a music player device to hold all my songs and be very portable. So let's get into the design of this thing. On the bottom you have the 30-pin dock connector. To the right of it you have the 3.5 millimeter head jack. Um, on the top you have the hold hold button hold switch, which basically was the precur precursor to the sleep wake button. It would just allow the user to hold the screen in its current position, like. So if it, you want it off to stay off and you won't be able to press it to turn it on with the hold switch on um, it is a quarter of an inch deep so it was a very slim device um, on the back you just have the logo and then information on the back then the face you have the click wheel which was just your your um, your maneuverability within the within the device on the top you have the menu which is to go back a screen on the sides you have the skip forward skip right skip backwards in the music and you have the pause play in the bottom and the enter key in the middle. Um, so this was the iPod Nano, my very first iPod. There it is. My next iPod was the iPod Video. It is about 30 gigabytes and it was the really first major jump in its category. Its category being massive amount of storage with the with the screen to play video. Um, this the, When it was in use for me, it would hold about 6 movies and 60 or so 30 minute television shows. Um, this is what I would bring on long trips, airplane, long road trips. Um, so let's get into the design of this thing. Um, on the bottom you have the 30-pin dock connector. On the top you have the hold switch and the headphone jack. Um, this is about a little bit less than a half an inch deep. Um, so it is sort of big but still very slim in its design factor. Um, the screen is about two and a half inches wide so it's perfect for watching movies on the go. Um, on the face, you have this. You have the click wheel, which I described before, and the screen. Um, so yeah, this was the iPod Video, 30 gigabytes. There it is. So my next iPod in the my iPod lineup was the iPod Nano 3G. This basically took the positives of the iPod Video and added them to the iPod Nano. It basically allowed the iPod Nano to have a bigger screen to watch videos and TV shows on it. Um, the screen is two inches diagonally. Um, it was sort of small to watch videos, but um, it was okay. Below it you have the click wheel. On the top you have nothing. On the bottom you have the 30 pin dock connector, the headphone jack, and the hold switch. On um, the sides are about a quart are about an eighth of an inch deep, so it is very slim and slender design. Um, this was the iPod Nano 3G, 4 gigabytes, so it couldn't hold a lot. Um, that was sort of a downside. You can't really have too many videos on it, and the videos you do watch, you can't really watch them as easily as you would like to because the screen is sort of small. Other than that, it was a great music player device. Um, this was my iPod Nano 3G. So lastly, we have the iPod Touch 4th generation. Now this is by far the best iPod in the lineup. Not just because it has the latest technology and it's the newest, but because of all of the things it can do. It can play music, it can play video, it can do any, it can play apps, and it can surf the web. So let's get into the, the design of this thing. So on the face, you have the FaceTime camera. You have a 3.5 inch um, multi-touch screen. And then below that you have the home home button. On the right side you have nothing, and it is about a quarter of an inch deep, so it's a very slim device. On the right side you have the volume rockers. On the back you have a camera, and the microphone. On the top you have a, like a recessed power button. Um, but on the bottom you have a headphone jack, um, three point thirty pin dock connector, and the and the speaker. Um, so this is my iPod Touch 4th generation. This rounds up my retro line of iPods. This is by far the best one because of all of its uses. Um, so there you have it. Um, so that rounds up my retro line of iPods. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, DShack Tech, for more app reviews, tech reviews, Apple news, and rumors. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.